On April 13, 2024, Iran launched an unprecedented attack on Israeli territory, marking the first time Iran has directly targeted Israel with such a large-scale operation. The offensive included more than 170 drones and 30 cruise missiles, none of which managed to penetrate Israeli airspace. Additionally, at least 110 ballistic missiles were launched, a small number of which reached Israeli territory. However, these were intercepted and jammed by Israeli defense systems, causing some to crash before reaching their intended targets. Israeli air defense systems, in collaboration with allies such as the US, UK, France and Jordan, played a pivotal role in thwarting Iran's aggressive assault. However, it wasn't solely the prowess of these defense systems that rendered the ballistic missiles ineffective. Jamming emerged as the unsung hero in this defensive triumph. The majority of the ballistic missiles were targeted by sophisticated electronic jamming, disrupting their navigation systems and causing them to veer off course or crash prematurely. Reports indicate that Israeli intelligence went a step further by deliberately jamming GPS signals within their territory, confounding Tehran's missile targeting teams and exacerbating the chaos for the incoming projectiles. The vulnerability of Iranian missiles to jamming stems from their heavy reliance on GPS for guidance. Other reasons such as ballistic missiles are comparatively easier to track due to their predictable trajectory governed by physics and gravity. Their flight path, often a high, arching trajectory, can be accurately forecasted using mathematical models based on initial velocity, launch angle and other variables. Moreover, their substantial radar cross-section makes them readily detectable and trackable using radar systems. So, is this the end of ballistic missiles? Well, not necessarily. While new technologies for anti-ballistic missile defense are constantly emerging, ballistic missiles are also getting smarter. Take for instance, India's Agni-5. Initially, India focused on threats from Pakistan, shaping its missile development. However, as concerns about China grew, so did the need to advance ballistic missile tech. The Agni-5 is India's most advanced missile, it is an ICBM capable of reaching most of China. Equipped with a ring, laser gyroscope-based inertial navigation system, it is often considered one of the best options for ballistic missiles. This is due to its ability to operate based on the principles of laser interference within a closed-loop cavity. The system does not rely on external signals such as GPS or communication links which can be jammed. This independence from external signals makes it inherently resistant to jamming attempts targeting those signals. Ring laser gyroscopes offer unparalleled precision in measuring angular rotation, enabling the inertial navigation system to meticulously track the missile's orientation and position in three-dimensional space. This precision is paramount for guiding ballistic missiles with pinpoint accuracy to their designated targets. Moreover, it facilitates swift updates on the missile's position and orientation, enabling rapid course corrections and trajectory adjustments as needed. To further fortify the resilience of Agni-5's navigation system and ensure mission success even in the face of primary guidance system failure or degradation, a backup system known as the Micro-Inertial Navigation System has been integrated. Moreover, unlike Iran, India operates its own GPS satellite system known as NAVIC. If Iran were to develop its own satellite navigation system similar to NAVIC, it could significantly enhance the accuracy and reliability of its ballistic missiles. This improvement in navigation capabilities might elevate the probability of successfully reaching targets, such as Israel. While China has consistently maintained that it doesn't perceive India as a peer competitor in nuclear and missile capabilities, due to their numerical superiority in weapons delivery, their actions suggest otherwise. India has now raised some serious concerns about a Chinese vessel's arrival at the Sri Lankan port and New Delhi's concerns have come in with its reports that the vessel is actually capable of snooping on India's nuclear plant. India's latest missile, it was tested yesterday, but now it turns out that China may have been snooping on India when the test was on. Each time India conducts a missile test, China dispatches its dual-use ships to monitor these developments closely. This monitoring has been a recurring pattern, with the latest instance occurring during India's MIRV test for the Agni-5 missile. 
MIRV capability, which enables a single missile to carry multiple nuclear warheads, poses a substantial threat, especially to modern air defense systems. Only a handful of countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, China, and France, possess operational missiles with MIRVs. This threat looms large because a deployment of ballistic missiles equipped with MIRVs, coupled with decoys, has the potential to overwhelm air defense systems. Intercepting all incoming missiles simultaneously becomes a daunting task for these defense systems, thereby heightening the risk of successful attacks. In addition to Agni missiles, India's inventory includes other formidable ballistic missiles, such as the Pralay missile. These missiles belong to the category of quasi-ballistic missiles, which adopt a unique flight profile, combining features of both ballistic and cruise missiles. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, quasi-ballistic missiles like Pralay follow a low-altitude flat trajectory. This profile presents a significant challenge for modern air defense systems, as they are typically optimized for intercepting targets at higher altitudes. Moreover, during their terminal phase, quasi-ballistic missiles exhibit high maneuverability, capable of altering course, altitude, and speed. This unpredictability poses a formidable challenge for air defense systems, making it difficult to accurately predict and intercept their trajectory. Quasi-ballistic missiles have been prominently featured in recent conflicts, such as the Russia-Ukraine war. Russia employed Iskander ballistic missiles, akin to India's Prale missile, boasting a range of up to 600 kilometers and sharing quasi-ballistic characteristics. On March 5, 2024, an Iskander missile destroyed an M142 HIMARS in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast, marking the first instance of a HIMARS system loss in Ukraine. Subsequently, on March 9, 2024, an Iskander missile targeted and destroyed two German-supplied M901 launchers for the PAC-2 Mobile Patriot Air Defense System, constituting the first loss of a Patriot Air Defense System in Ukraine. These missiles have demonstrated success in damaging critical infrastructure, such as power grid facilities. The Iskander's hypersonic speed during its terminal phase further amplifies its lethality, posing significant challenges to air defense systems and increasing its effectiveness against military installations and infrastructure. Notably, the use of decoys, a closely guarded secret by Russia, adds to the missile's lethality and effectiveness against hardened targets. Despite this, Ukrainian forces have achieved interceptions of Iskander missiles in some instances. Besides quasi-ballistic missiles, another significant type is ballistic missiles equipped with maneuverable re-entry vehicles, exemplified by India's Agni P. Here's how MARV missiles operate. Initially, the missile is launched into space using a rocket booster, following a predictable ballistic trajectory to attain the desired altitude. And velocity. After reaching the designated altitude, the missile's re-entry vehicle containing the MARV separates from the rocket booster and begins its descent towards the target. Re-entering the Earth's atmosphere at high speed generates intense heat due to air friction. Once in the atmosphere, the MARV employs its onboard guidance and control systems to execute maneuvers, altering its trajectory using thrusters or other mechanisms. Traditional ballistic missiles cannot maneuver like MARVs during the re-entry phase. This maneuverability during re-entry complicates prediction for defense systems, making interception more challenging. As the MARV nears its target area, its guidance system directs it precisely towards the intended target. The MARV payload, whether conventional or nuclear warhead, is deployed at the opportune moment to strike the target accurately. Furthermore, MARVs have the potential to improve the accuracy of payload delivery by adjusting their trajectory to target specific objectives with greater precision. By doing so, they can potentially reduce the window of time available for interception. This is because MARVs can adjust their trajectory closer to the target, leaving less time for defensive systems to react. In conclusion, as interception capabilities and jamming technologies continue to advance, Ballistic missiles are adapting to counter defensive systems and ensure their survival on the battlefield. While they remain susceptible to interception, 
Their capacity to penetrate even the most modern radars and air defense systems underscores their relevance in today's advanced war zones.